oral contraception. Conception. I said conception really weird. Oral contraception. Sorry about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video, as you can see by the title down below, I am talking about the pill. Now, I know this is a very touchy and personal subject for some people out there, but for me, I'm not going into too much detail about it. I am literally just sharing with you the different reasons why someone may be on the pill, and then I'm going to actually share with you my experience with being on the pill. I have been on three different types of pills. I've been on Levlin, I've been on Yaz, and I've been on Norman, and I'm just going to go into a bit of detail and share with you what happened while I was on them, did they work, the side effects that I had, etc, etc. So if you're interested in getting a better understanding on the pill, continue watching and if the pill really isn't something that you're keen to get to know a little, a little bit more of, that's fine. <laughs> So to begin with, I'm going to start with the different reasons that girls may be on the pill. It is not purely used as a birth control. I think many people have the mindset that if you're on the pill, you are having unsafe sex or unprotected sex and you're trying to prevent yourself from being pregnant, but that is not the case whatsoever. There is a chance that the girl is taking it because she doesn't want to become pregnant, but there's a 50-50 chance that she's also taking it to help cure her acne or problem skin because there are pills out there such as Yaz which do actually you know prevent your skin from breaking out it does prevent breakouts it does clear up your skin and if you've got bad skin and that is a solution to your problem I think there's a lot of people that would go for it a second reason that someone may be on the pill is because they have the most painful agonizing Oh, cramps when they're on their period and once again if you can prevent pain from something that's not as great as your period why not and a third reason is people just don't like the surprise of getting their period so when they're on the pill they get to actually control if they're going to get it that month or if they're going to skip it and they'll also know what day it's coming so it's not a big scare and a big shock like here's my period <laughs> I'm on the pill at the moment and I am not using it as birth control if I became pregnant right now I would literally be the second Mary and it would be the second coming of Jesus and saying that my reasons for being on the pill is when I get my periods if I'm not taking any birth control I have the most agonizing and painful cramps ever like to the point that I won't be able to get out of bed I will literally just be in a bowl in the fetal position you know trying to move around to just put pressure on my um, stomach I guess to actually prevent the pain and I found the only solution to that problem is having a warm bath but I kind of can't do that when I have work and a life like I can't put my life on hold and be like I'm bleeding guys it's fine just go on without me like it doesn't work like that life doesn't work like that it doesn't stop for anyone so that is the reason I take the pill. Also, I don't like the surprise of my periods because let's face it, no one wants to wake up one morning and not be prepared and then possibly ruin their bed sheets or ruin their outfit with blood. So that is the reason why I am on the pill. details of the pills that I've been on. Like I said before, I've been on three. I've been on Levlin ED to begin with. And then after that, I was put on Yaz. And then finally, now I am on Norman. I'm going to explain why I've gone through three different versions of the pill. To begin with, I was on Levlin ED as the initial pill. I think this is just the normal one any doctor prescribes anyone because it's the cheapest and it's the most basic pill. I was on this for three years and it worked fantastically. It's $5 and I think you get four months worth. It looks like this. So here are your active ones at the top and down the bottom in the red. That's the inactive, so that's when you're going to get your period. Um, you can choose to miss those ones completely and not get your period and just start the next packet. But um, yeah, it's the most basic one and I stopped taking this because it actually stopped working for me. Like in the parts where I was taking the active ones, I would be getting bleeding and that is not meant to happen. So I went to my doctor and told her about it and she's just like, oh, you may be stressed so give it a month and you know, come back. And so I came back a month later and I'm like, look, it's happening again. I'm bleeding when I'm not supposed to. And so then she put me on to Yaz. Now I absolutely hate Yaz. I actually want to stab 
whoever created Yaz and just be like, why? Why did you make this? Like, this is the worst pill you could ever make. Um, this is one of the pills that is actually prescribed to people who have problem skin and they want to clear it up. Yaz did the complete opposite to me. I had fine skin to begin with. Like, I've never really had, you know, acne or anything. I have been one of those fortunate people that just gets a few breakouts and that's it. As soon as I started taking Yaz, I was getting acne all the way down my jawline and down my neck. So it was all in the hormonal area. And it was the most painful thing ever. I had the biggest mood swings ever. Like one minute I'd be laughing and then the next I would literally be bawling my eyes out and just yelling and snapping at everyone. Like it was horrible. I could feel and hear myself. And it was just, I couldn't control it. Like I literally had no control over my emotions or what I was saying or feeling. And it was just horrible. But I dealt with it for three months because I read on the internet that your body just needs to get used to the new hormones that the pill was giving you. And so I was like, oh, maybe the breakouts are just normal. It's going to happen. And then I bought a second packet of Yaz, which is ridiculous as it is 80 flippin' bucks. And after finishing half of that first section, I gave up. I was like, no, I can't do this because the acne is just getting worse. So I went back to my doctor and she's like, that's unusual. That shouldn't be happening. And I was like, you think? So then she gave me my script for Norman, which, ooh, which is what I'm on right now. And I love Norman. He is amazing. And I'm calling him he because of the name Norman. Um, he's four, oh, he's not four. He's five dollars, just like Levelin is. And in the actual box, you get back to five or four months worth of scripts, which is great. And this is what he looks like. Here's his actives up the top and inactive down the bottom. It's a bit confusing, the opposite of Levelin. Levelin's inactives are actually the white and his actives are yellowy orange but this you know it says red which means blood which means you're gonna bleed on that week so you can choose to take the period or you can choose to skip it he instantly cleared up my skin I don't know if you can see right now like my skin has actually cleared up a lot my mood swings went back to normal I feel completely human and I don't feel like I'm going to snap at anyone or rip anyone's faces off like before on when I was on Yaz I literally just got so angry at some people that I wanted to punch their faces in and I am not a violent person at all but I literally felt like I had to do it so oh oh <laughs> but Norman he's completely you know fixed that problem and I don't have bleeding when I'm not supposed to I I love him <laughs> I love him that's simply all I can say but after explaining all my problems and my side effects that I've had with these pills, I have to say that it does really depend on each individual person. Like there may be some people who Yaz has been the most amazing pill ever and it, they've had no problems or side effects whatsoever. Norman may be one that gives people the most mood swings of their lifetime and makes them want to stab people. So it really depends on the individual taking them and obviously I myself didn't get along great with Yaz and got along great with Norman. But another good thing about Norman which I found <laughs> whatever amazing, my boobs grew. Like beforehand they weren't small to begin with but now they've grown up a cup size and you know I loved it so yeah that's a positive for that I'm gonna end this video here so I hope this video has helped some of you and has educated you on the reasons why some people may take the pill and you know if you've got problem skin or if you've got really painful periods maybe talk to your parents and you know let them know that there is a solution that you can try and then go to your doctor and talk to your doctor and see what your best option is from them I am not a doctor so I can't tell you to go on the pill so maybe talk to other people I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it did help some people let me know down below in the comments if you're on any of these pills and if you've had any experiences with them and if you've had any side effects that are similar to mine or whatnot um, yeah so that's going to be the end of this week's video and I hope you enjoyed it and until next time goodbye